Hi, I'm Susie, and I have been trying to learn how to make YouTube videos, and my gosh, it is so hard. Um, there's just so much that you have to learn, and then figuring out how to edit it and put it all together, it's crazy. But I have been on disability a lot this year, and I've actually learned a lot about my illnesses from watching YouTube, so I've sort of become a YouTube junkie, and it made me want to start making my own YouTube videos to kind of chronicle what I'm going through, as well as to keep myself accountable and um, hopefully see my progress as I improve. Um, there's nothing else to have a documentation of my journey and what I've been going through. So, um, I am on a keto diet. I do try to stay under 20 grams of carbohydrates a day, but since I have to drink 20 ounces of G2 Gatorade every day, that's 13 grams of carb right there. And so I usually go a little bit over. Um, I use MyFitnessPal to track when I feel good. This past week I haven't been feeling very good and so I haven't really tracked very much. Um, the reason that I am on keto is actually because I don't want to die. Um, I have diabetes and this year, it actually started last year, just really getting out of control. I've had it, I was diagnosed in 2008 and at that time I was 230 pounds. I am now down to around 185. And um, I, I've i had a lot of problems with prescription medications this year. I was actually hospitalized for lactic acidosis in January, so I don't take metformin because that's a possible side effect. Um, and I really don't take any of the oral medications. So because of all these drug reactions that keep piling up, um, I got scared of prescription drugs for a little while and I wasn't taking any. And, but my blood sugar was still really high. It was in the 200s, which is really high for me. Um, and they were blaming my dysautonomia on diabetes. So, um, the cardiologist told me to go get my blood sugar under control and then come back in a couple of months. And I'm like, well, how am I going to do this when I can't take any medication? So that's when I started the keto diet. And because I'm doing it for these reasons, I am super strict, or at least I think I'm super strict. The things that I cheat on, um, I still use artificial sweeteners because I am a sugar addict and I can't handle not having any sweets whatsoever. Um, I try not to have too many of them. Um, I try to keep it to a minimum. And oh, I feel like there was something else, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, I've seen a lot of people talking about dairy-free keto. I'm sorry, I cannot do that. <laughs> um, cheese and cream are what make keto bearable for me. So. Um, I made myself some notes so that I remember what I wanted to talk about. Uh, speaking of cream, I watched a YouTube video. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name, but she says like keto under 20. And um, she, t she did a video about how carrageenan, I always pronounce it carrageenan, but is bad. And um, so I've been trying to use dairy products that don't have that in it, but I cannot find heavy cream that does not have it in it. And um, I've also been noticing how important it is to read labels because, um, wow, there are some crazy things. Like I found today that in uh, shredded cheese there was potato starch, and in a lot of the creams they have skim milk added, and I don't want that. If I buy cream, I want cream, and that's it. I was also going to tell you, my husband has lost 20 pounds. He has been so supportive, and he's doing this along with me, even though he doesn't have to. He's not as strict as I am. If, if I'm not around and he's with family or something, he'll eat something that I wouldn't. Um, and I do buy him some things that I would never eat. I started keto, my last cheat meal, 
was lunch on April 7th of 2017 and my husband Antar he started around April 28th so far we're doing really well okay so this is my husband and I making our dinner from a couple nights ago this is my fried chicken that I made with Butter Bob's recipe using the U.S. Wellness Meats chicken and pork lard. And this is my husband's chicken breast that we got from U.S. Wellness Meats because he doesn't like all the fat. He doesn't like the skin on the legs and the pork lard. He thinks it's kind of gross. This is all the groceries <laughs> that I bought today. Okay, so I just went grocery shopping. See, here's all my food. And so I'm going to show you what I got from my keto diet. So we got this can of the solid white albacore tuna in water. And I've been really having sweet tooth this week, so I got myself some diet root beer. Um, I don't, I'm not ready to give up artificial sweeteners, so I still get that stuff. And I got lime juice. I like to put them on the pork rinds, the chicharrones. And I love this um, organic whole milk yogurt. Um, before, I just hated eating a bite of yogurt. I, I try to eat at least one bite of yogurt every day for the probiotics. And this one is not gross. So that's awesome. Um, and then my crema mexicana. And then we got some Kerrygold butter. This is the first time I found it in sticks. That was pretty awesome. The reason you see the prices on things is because my daughter keeps telling me that Walmart is way cheaper than Smith's. So I thought maybe if I can visually see the prices, I'll determine whether I think she's right or not. Um, and I got two um, eight ounce packages of Philadelphia cream cheese. I got this lemon pepper seasoning because my husband loves it. Fortunately, I hate it because I could not find one that did not have sugar in it. Um, then we got baking powder. Um, it kind of feels like a no-no too, but I needed it for recipe recently. So instead of borrowing it from my daughter, I got my own. My husband wanted hot dogs. And I learned today you have to be really careful with hot dogs. You have to read the ingredients. Um, there was a much cheaper one, but it had corn syrup in it. I was very disappointed in that. So normally I don't eat hot dogs because they upset my stomach, but my husband likes those. And then I got pepperoni. I love pepperoni. And I got some cheddar cheese. And on the um, dairy products, I've been trying really hard to read on the ingredients on the back and make sure that there's no carrageenan in it or carrageenan, however you're supposed to say that. That won't focus, huh? Anyway, um, and these Cash Valley nachos do not have that in them. And then the mozzarella. So last time I got the really cheap one at Walmart and I noticed when I was making my keto pizza that it did not melt correctly. So today I was looking at the back and the cheap one actually had potato starch in it. So I was very disappointed in that. This one's a lot more expensive, but there are no potatoes in this cheese. And then I got my G2, which I know is not great for keto, but it's great for my dysautonomia, so I'm gonna keep getting it. And then, um, so then the rest of this is from Smith's. And so they had the Perrier on sale too for $9. Normally, I wouldn't have bought this many, but that's why I bought all the different flavors. So, I like the Perrier. Well, I've gotten used to it. I used to hate mineral water. I'm learning to like a lot of things that I never liked before. Um, I got baby spinach. I eat that every day with my breakfast. And then I got the organic cage-free eggs. These are my husband's favorite brand, and they're healthy, so I'm not going to change it. And then he requested eggs with the green stems because he does not want to wear his reading glasses. So he said if he eats carrots, his eyes will get better. So I bought him some carrots. I will not be eating those. And I got some Baby Bella mushrooms. I got myself a Diet Coke because I always feel like I need a treat after shopping. 
and the milk again is not for me I don't drink milk because there's too much fructose in it or lactose sorry um, but that is for my husband he's not diabetic so he can cheat a little bit more than I can and then also the strawberries are not for me those are for him he puts them in his morning shake so there you go there's my grocery haul for this week thank you so much for watching and if you have any suggestions on ways to help me I would really appreciate it or if you have any questions that maybe I could help you please feel free to comment and have a great day